The ketogenic diet has so many benefits, and in this short video, I'm gonna outline five amazing benefits of keto. Let's do this. Hey Keto Camper, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author of four books and the founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire 1 billion people. Now we know keto is all the rage these days. You go on Dr. Google, type in what is the keto diet, there's going to be millions and millions of results. Rightfully so. So many people are transforming their lives, their health, their weight loss, conditions like diabetes, all because of this powerful ancient healing strategy called keto. So I'm going to outline five of the main amazing benefits of keto to inspire you to stay on course or to inspire you to get started with this keto lifestyle. First thing I want you to consider is that keto is not a diet. It is a metabolic process called ketosis. Every single one of your ancestors did keto. That is a fact. Nothing new about it, just a little bit more nuance. So now that we got that out of the way, let's dive deep into the five main benefits. The first amazing benefit of keto is mental clarity, focus, and productivity. Not only is this benefit important for entrepreneurs, but anybody who just wants to be more productive and get rid of brain fog and start feeling better cognitively. When we think about keto and how ketosis could support the brain, it's really straightforward. When you're not doing keto and when you're eating a whole bunch of carbohydrates, what that's going to do is spike glucose which yeah, might give you some energy short term, might even help with focus short term. But what happens is 30 to 60 minutes later, that glucose will drop dramatically. All of a sudden, you can't focus, you can't think, you got brain fog, leading you to want more carbohydrates. Not a fun way to live. When you transition and start burning fat and enter the great land of ketosis, now your body will keep glucose and insulin stable, and as you burn through your sugar reserves, which is what we want, then the liver will say, hey, I got you. Don't worry about it, brain. The ketones are coming, and the liver will produce ketones, primarily beta-hydroxybutyrate. That is a one of three ketone bodies. The unique thing about beta-hydroxybutyrate, it has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier, which actually fuels the brain. It is a more efficient fuel source for your brain versus glucose. Here's a perfect example for you. Babies that are breastfed are actually in and out of ketosis. And you think about how is that possible? Well, the brain is mostly fat. It thrives off of fat. It loves ketones. Breast milk has saturated fat and cholesterol, which helps the development of the baby's brain and helps get them into ketosis. There's three studies on PubMed that back this up. I'll drop those down below. When you are in the great land of ketosis, it is almost euphoric. You have this mental clarity. You have peak cognition. You're super productive. And the best part about it, you don't have to rely on snacking every two to three hours for energy. Your body is running on ketosis, aka ketones. The second amazing benefit of keto is improved skin complexion, getting rid of cellulite, and just looking really damn good. I know this might sound more of like a shallow type of benefit, but let's face it. Having healthy skin will help you be more confident. Being more confident will help you get more done. Getting more done will help you be happier. Being happier will help you be healthier. It's a great little circle there. So when we talk about not doing keto, you're eating probably carbohydrates and sugar. When you have high amounts of glucose in your bloodstream, like those who are not doing keto, that's very toxic to the body. The body only wants one to two teaspoons of sugar in the bloodstream at all times. And when you're doing keto, you're gonna hit that marker. But when you're not doing keto, you have excessive glucose in the bloodstream and the body needs to deal with that. It creates something called advanced glycation end products. Too much of this will age you faster, but also create acne, skin issues, and even cellulite. I want you to think of this process as biting into an apple and then leaving that apple on the counter, coming back a few hours later. What are you gonna see? This is similar to what's happening to your cells when you are a glucose sugar burner and not doing keto. But when you do keto, all of a sudden you regulate glucose and it helps tremendously with any skin issues you might be having. Side note, when you are in ketosis, beta-hydroxybutyrate could support the gut, which also helps with skin issues. The third amazing benefit of keto 
is your sugar and carbohydrate cravings are gone. Now this could take somewhere between 21 and 28 days of consistent effort, but what happens is you essentially rearrange your palate. If you're somebody who struggles with food addiction, carbohydrate and sugar addiction, I've been there for, for many, many years when I used to be obese, it's not fun. I remember opening up the refrigerator to look for the answer to my problem, but the answer is not in the refrigerator. The answer lies within your innate intelligence. When you are doing higher fat, higher protein, lower carb, all of a sudden your palate changes and you start to actually create cravings for healthier foods like avocados and eggs and more keto friendly foods. Then you have new neural pathways firing in your brain for these healthier options. You have new diversity in your gut that are gonna crave more of these keto friendly foods. Again, it doesn't happen overnight, but 21 to 28 days of consistent effort, you could overcome a lot of the sugar and carbohydrate addictions for good. You might wanna work with a specialist as well, but I've seen keto work wonders for any kind of food addiction. Benefit number four, I've seen people reverse insulin resistance and even type two diabetes with keto. How is that even possible? Well, it's a sad fact that when you go and talk to your conventional doctor or go on the American Diabetes Association website and have a conversation about diabetes, they're gonna tell you that, hey, type 2 diabetes, this is a chronic and progressive disease. While we cannot reverse it, we could actually help maintain it and manage it with medication. Well, the truth is you can reverse type 2 diabetes. You can reverse insulin resistance. The issue is too much glucose. The issue is spiking insulin all the time. The issue is inflammation. So the solution should be reducing glucose, reducing insulin, reducing inflammation. That's exactly what keto does. And if you pair keto with intermittent fasting, that is a one-two punch to reversing these conditions for good. I already mentioned it before, when you're not doing keto, you're spiking carbohydrates. That is a tightly controlled mechanism in the body. Insulin has to come from the beta cells of your pancreas, the insulin troops, if you will, to take the excess glucose and deliver it into your cells. But if this happens time after time, week, month, year after year, insulin will get burned out. It's like if you have children, the first time you shout at your children and say, hey, go clean your room, they're gonna listen to you because mommy, daddy, they shouted for the first time, I'm gonna listen. But what happens week after week, month after month, after shouting at your kids to go clean your room, they'll stop listening to you. They become deaf to your screams. This is similar to insulin resistance and type two diabetes. When you are calling insulin all the time, the receptor sites on your cells cannot hear the message. You need to scream louder, produce more insulin, leading to these conditions. The solution is to gradually dial down the volume so your receptor sites could hear the hormones. Keto and fasting are two amazing ways to do that. I've seen type two diabetes get reversed with my Keto Campus Academy student members in years and sometimes even months. So that is just one of the many benefits of keto. Now we have a fifth benefit and then I have a bonus benefit for you coming up. Before I get to those, if you're getting any value from this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button on this video. And if you're brand new to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when we release a brand new video or when we go live. The fifth benefit is going to be weight loss. But you don't lose weight to get healthy. You get healthy to lose weight. And that's where keto comes into play. When you reduce inflammation with keto, all of a sudden your cells and receptor sites could communicate better. You have this amazing orchestra within your body that's taking place every second. You have fat burning hormones connecting to receptor sites, telling your mitochondria to burn fat. But if there's inflammation, there's going to be dysfunction, similar to the analogy I gave about screaming at your kids, similar to me having my fingers in my ears. I can't hear you. You're frustrated. I'm frustrated. Dysfunction. So with keto, it's like unplugging those fingers out of the ears. The fat burning hormones could get in and burn fat. So keto is a powerful weight loss tool, but it's a powerful weight loss tool because it's a health tool. And as you get healthy, you drop weight as a side effect. But the great thing about losing weight with keto is that the weight comes off permanently. It's not about yo-yo fad dieting. It's about a lifestyle. Those are the five main benefits of keto, which brings me to a bonus benefit, which is going to tie in to the fifth benefit. 
And my favorite part about keto is what it does for inflammation. We know that inflammation has been linked to just about every single disease out there, from cancer to diabetes to autoimmune disease. And when we could reduce inflammation, we could improve these conditions and even get rid of them for good. So when you are doing clean keto, the way we teach it here at Keto Camp, you're gonna reduce inflammation around your cells. And remember what we shared, your receptor sites in your cells are communicating with your hormones, the nutrients you're eating and taking from supplements, oxygen you breathe, and even your thoughts. So ketones are a clean source of energy for your cells. Burning sugar and not doing keto is a dirty source of energy for your cells. Here's the analogy. When your cells are burning glucose, that is very inflammatory and oxidative. I compare that to a truck speeding through your neighborhood with all this smoke being blasted out of the exhaust pipe. That truck is not healthy for the surrounding environment. Well, when your cells are burning glucose and not doing keto, that's not healthy for your cellular environment. When you transition into the great land of ketosis and teach your cells to burn fat instead of sugar, that is a clean source of energy similar to a Tesla. That Tesla is going to be a cleaner source of energy versus the Mack truck. So as you reduce cellular inflammation, yes, you'll lose weight. Yes, you'll have more mental cognition and all the other benefits I spoke about, but you'll reduce your risk of diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and other nasty diseases that has been affecting us for decades. I have a question for you, which is the question of the day. Out of the five and bonus benefits of keto that I outlined today, which one is your favorite? Is it the mental cognition? Is it improved skin complexion? Is it the reversal of type two diabetes and insulin resistance? Is it weight loss? Or is it that bonus tip, the reduction of inflammation? Let me know down below. I also have a 10 part series I did on all things keto, where I take you from A to Z with keto. You can watch the first video of that 10 part series by sticker tapping the screen right there. I will also drop a link down below in the notes. I'll see you in that next video.